Hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome back to some more Ace Attorney. I've taken the last four days off stream. I almost took today off. I've been absolutely exhausted. Can't sleep. It's it's awful. I can't sleep. Having to wake up, go into the office. It and literally, I tried to take two naps today because I went in early. I got off really late yesterday, so I had some makeup time and lay down twice a day, couldn't sleep. And I'm, I'm exhausted, I'm so tired, I can't sleep. So that's super fun and dandy. Um, but, you know what, I wanted to, I wanted to see if we can get through this uh, before Rebirth comes out in two days. And uh, hopefully I'm not too tired for that. That's gonna break my heart uh, because I did take Thursday off. I did get a notification from uh, Square Enix yesterday that Rebirth has shipped and it said it was expected to be delivered today uh, Two days ahead of time and I was like what that'd be sick um, But it hasn't moved. So that's kind of a bummer. There are a bunch of people that have gotten it like at least a week early um, But they can't play it because they, they have a lockdown. It's like uh, Pre-download of a game, right? Which is great. I would much rather have it earlier so I can actually have it installed so we can actually play on release date as opposed to the UPS guy. They, they usually show up around 7 to 9 p.m. Not where I'm at. So then it would be like, cool, we just got it right when I normally would start a normal stream. It's going to take like two hours to download. So I'm hoping it like shows up tomorrow. That would be fantastic. Um, if it doesn't show up, tomorrow then uh looks like i'll be going into work on thursday and putting in some hours until it does hopefully it shows up earlier on thursday than uh later but i don't have high hopes for that because our ups guy on the route is usually later on in the evening anyways what we left off we left off on uh starting a new episode we're meeting some new friends there's some there's some creepy lunch lady right i don't remember your name Is it something Sky? I think it's something Sky because the other characters are Faye, right? What's up, Cortanas? Perfect timing. We are just about to start streaming. Yeah, you want some booty pet? You see that face? You see that face pop right up? He says, yes. Yeah, you want some booty pets? You want some booty pets? I come and get them. I come and get them. Ah, I don't know what they are. Oh. Give, give this belly. Oh, there's a belly. Give them some toys. Oh, 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 I love you. Enjoy your naps. Oh. How you doing, my dude? Oh, always up for some loving. We um got her on some new CBD. I, don't, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it last week after um I haven't been streaming. That's I, I was right. That CBD oil was $250. That sucked. I did not know it was that expensive. But it seems to be working. Um, she seems to have uh, a little more pep in her step. So that bums me out because she's been on other CBD for three or four years now and apparently that's been hardly doing anything because this new stuff she's been on it for almost a week now and already can tell a difference i was already, i was skeptical about it she was like there's no way this is gonna be a significant improvement especially for 250 dollars but it's doing work 
So, unfortunately, you're gonna have to eat that. I, I hope it lasts, like, six months. Because the other stuff I'm on right now for her lasts, like, four months. But it's, like, 65 bucks total for four months supply. Now we're looking at 250 and please last six months. That's rough. Get her some special treats for Meadow to help with her joint pain. Yeah, Jade is on, like, 12 different joint supplements. <laughs> So if you're looking for that, a uh, bunch of joint supplements, uh, not guanfazine, glucosamine, salmon oil is really good. Also helps with their coat. So I feel that pain. What's your name? Uh, her name's Emma? That doesn't sound right. Also, Hopefully. Okay, it looks like a, it might have saved. Her name is Emma. She's a scientific person. Okay. I remember this, 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 I remember this. I just wanted to remember what her name was. Uh... Okay, so the underground park. Oh, right, we saw Edgeworth. So maybe we'll go back here. Her. Her. Encountered something in BGC, not sure if it's a bug or an oversight. Uh oh, what happened? Uh. Does she have anything? She doesn't. Let's go. And talk to you? Sky. Yeah, Lana. Yeah, Emma and Lana Sky. So I remember the House of Healing. Yep, I'm actually about to encounter them again. I decided to do the Sharon Temple first to see if I can get Shadowheart to be a Jark Dis Justicier first and then go back because they they all care, care about Shar and being stuff. So that'd be interesting. I, ho I hope there's something about it. Okay, so if she's in the way, I can't move to the other side. Uh, let's go back here. She's not here. Okay, it's gotta be something in here. Decided to attack them outright. No conversation one. Try and prevent them from poking the guy's eyes out. We strapped to the operating table. Oh, is that what they do? Oof. Managed to do so without the guy on the table dying, but he still has no eyes. Ugh. They pull him out before he got there, essentially. I don't remember that. I don't remember them actually... Like, removing an eye or anything. I remember us having a conversation and, and essentially me convincing him to take himself out. Which is pretty great. Um... What if I present this to her? Can you take a look at this? Oh, let's mute the phone. I... Uh... I don't remember... Her voice. I don't think I put a filter on it. If you engage him in conversation and talk your way through it, he'll poke the guy's eyes out with his scalpel fingers. Ew. If I just attack him, he'll keep his eyes. <laughs> no such luck for that guy, huh? Just before they die, they're like, Nope! Need those eyes. You. Yes? You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, thanks. She didn't even look at me. She didn't even look at me. Uh... Oh, yeah. I remember this. Remember this? Oh, no, I still can't move over here. Hmm. What am I missing? It's kind of annoying that I can't switch to that side. Uh. 
Alright, get out of the way, Edgeworth. Did I not observe this stuff? Wow, this jacket is even nicer than his usual ones. It must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket? Right, I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Okay, I don't think we actually looked at all this yet. <laughs> Can't fault you for trying, right? <laughs> I tried to save your eyes, dead man. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Oh, wait. That's me. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. Is that the... Wendy's nuts. Uh, is Wendy the the lunch lady? Oh man, it's it's been a minute. I I, I pushed a button apparently. Beside a giant steel samurai. Well, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Wendy, is she Mister Edward's fiance? Oh! Her. Um, I don't think so. Interesting. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's washed so well I can see my own reflection. Come shoe! Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, what? Well, I might have missed a... Thing there that I don't remember. Maybe I'll take that as take that name plaque as a souvenir. You don't steal shit. Don't he'll sue you. Is that a window? Whoa! What a view! It must be nice to have an office on the twelfth floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, where did you jump out this window at the time until impact on well, the ground would be? Got it. Approximately three point two three seconds. That's handy to know. Oof. He said. Ooh, cute. Wrong thing. Oh, cute. What a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. I'm boring. Amazing. The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking your hobby too far. Man, I just got boring all of a sudden. Ever since Mia slash Maya left. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. No shit. Mm, a prosecutor's. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. <laughs> King of Prosecutors? Okay, I think we finally stumbled upon something. It's a great honor. They send the shield to the best prosecutor each year. Yeah. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king? Yeah, got a problem with that. I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. I don't like employee of the month, only better. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Given to Edgeworth, king of the prosecutors at the PD on the day of the murder. Interesting. Oh, he lived and ran off? I let him go up the table. Oh, let him up from the table. Oof. Well, good on you for saving him. Wait a minute, why isn't... Why isn't it counting? Oh, talk to it again, okay. So that's the King of Prosecutor Shield, huh? Well done, or well done, Edgeworth. You must be kind... Must be proud to be King of the Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors! Please stop saying that. It still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? Oh, is that not a design choice? This red roof is such a comfy sofa. Sofies like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. Nobody throws over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Finishing off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves. 
and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. She's got quite the vivid, vivid imagination, that's for sure. Even in the morning, he has, so has sofa hair and little creases on his cheek from the seams. He's so cool! Sofa hair is cool? <laughs> okay. Ladur. Whoa! These are old case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. That's true. I must have someone get them for him. Keep picturing Gumshoe? Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? That happened again. Are they trying to tell me to go find Gumshoe? I must really... Wrong thing again. I must study these cases. These case reports so closely, he's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. <laughs> Alright, chessboard. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pond. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Check out the poor pond. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Idris must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? There's no king. They lost already. I just... Surrounding pond with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. Or... Sounds like Phoenix might be trying to put something together there. Oh, you live... Oh, yeah. I read that but Bit... Uh, nothing to talk about, huh? Okay, what if I go here? Nothing to talk about. She doesn't like She doesn't like prosecutors, right? Yeah, cuz she got or she I think she's trying to frame the uh head prosecutor lady, right? Could you take a look at this? Ew. Y yes. Oh, she just keeps saying the same thing. Shit. Oh. Oh, I forgot this was the thing. What is this? Maybe this is what I need to be doing. Hey, check it out. There's a metal plate here. Hmm. Looks like the name of all the previous recipients recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. On Karma. I guess it must be a foreigner. Yeah, I put him away. Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, whatever he, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. When she says it, his name does have kind of a ring to it. Murder man is who that is. Okay. So maybe, um. Aha! Okay. Jeez, Jade has scared the crap out of me. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roofing it in the wild. Yeah, that sounds definitely like Edgeworth. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Oh, there's a scary thought. Okay, so let's observe everything we've picked up, I guess. Name and ID number are written here. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. Big ID number. I wonder where they only... I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly! For the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. Yeah, Baba Dab. See, wouldn't that be better? Yabba Dab. <laughs> Yabba Dab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point, V. 
doesn't take much of a user. What's he? Gab a dab. Space! Welcome in. How you doing, Fredo? Get the cookie. Go and get this cookie. Um. That's like a photo cookie. How you doing, Fredo? Okay, so we've observed some things. Oh, there's actually what? So this is what the back of the badge looks like. Now we thought I had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found out right. I'd be found out right away. Oh, that's no fun. Watch, that's gonna be clue somehow later okay so i observed all these things you got nothing left to say you got nothing left to say fuck dude i can't trigger anything I don't know what to do. <sighs> have you seen this? I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. What is this, a behavioral study of lawyers? Fuck. I don't know what to do. I'm doing okay as well. I'm, I'm very tired. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I'm, I've literally shown everyone everything. <sighs> I wish I could just auto skip this. Still can't move. So basically, this says that you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that blue screen as well. Elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. <laughs> huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive this broken sh that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Oh, is that how I unlocked the police department? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. I was wondering, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about this, his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Wait, did that just unlock more stuff too? Oh my god. Really? I had to show him the stupid thing that's literally on his sofa? Did you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Clean once a year? Cleaning day? Working with the police department, you sort and file all, the, all evidence for solved cases. That makes sense. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands both cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got it? The shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edwards pride ourselves in our pre precision pinch, right? No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is out solid evidence. We're gonna have a parking in the prosecutor's... Oh, I can't believe me showing him the award that he has in his office on his couch is what triggered everything. Uh, answered at 512. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, God, the yawns are back. 
The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. Quite right. I appreciate if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Is this Gumshoe? Um, that is not Gumshoe. Who the fuck is this guy? And why is that CG and the rest of you drawn? That is a, the, the bit of the horn. He's 3D. The rest of him is hand drawn. Also, looks like. Dude, if the bot disconnected again, I swear, I swear to you. Oh, how annoying. I connected this. Like two weeks ago. Screw it. I'll do it after stream. I knew I. Even my brain is like, you should check that because that's been going offline a lot. Screw it. I don't care. Excuse me, but Mr. Address, uh, anywhere on the premises? A Address? What is it? Is he, a, is he a policeman or a mailman or what happened to his hand? I have so many questions about this man. I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Scott? I don't like the way the conversation is going at all. Uh. Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sorry, but... But, sir... I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. Who the fuck is this guy? I didn't even get his... Read that. Give me your name. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. Good luck with that raise next month. Uh, but, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. That was interesting. Right. Y yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's see what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrol manager's now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks? He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Oh, finally. Progress. Progress. See you. Oh, give me gumshoe. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's their creepy mascot. Imagine his little bat or baton makes a squeaky noise. Ugh, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? It's me. I took almost 30 minutes by taxi. My draft wasn't even that bad. At the police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm. Hold on, what's that? There's a fake, there's a handprint on it. That's creepy. This is some fucking, yeah, just... Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? This is some fucking Five Nights shit. Oh, wait, I know. It's the blue badger. That's a badger? We're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, well, Mr. Wright, you should know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar, familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Oh, it appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. It's gotta be Gumshoe. Give me the gum. Yeah! We love this man. Hey, hey, pal, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, well. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Yo. I'll give you one word to, of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. What? what? Why not? Ah. Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. He said she summoned the detective of the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But well, she's not telling the truth. This is weird. Why would you... Yeah. They're, they're... Why? Why would you just openly admit to murder? 
when you weren't when you didn't do it and you're the chief prosecutor yes well uh, no come on pal there's plenty of evidence against her what if the evidence was faked hey pal can i speak to you for a second oh huh? me why is this little girl so peeved at me she's relative of the suspect she's lana sky's sister oh the prosecutor's little sister just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fate. Huh? It's just... It's just a sensitive issue with, with us these days. Interesting. So, uh... What are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Ah, uh, well, nothing, really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Thanks for gumshoe. What'd you do this time? <laughs> what do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. You've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting ev any of us rank and file detective in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. That's what you're spending your time on? Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief police himself is directing the investigation, pal. Right, if I thought about, right up. Wow, I can words. I forgot about that, dude. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Oh, I think about it. It did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Okay, what about... This. Found a Mr. Edgeworth's car. Stabbed with Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, somebody else really did it. Someone who must have, uh... Someone who must have had a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth! The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized, to be coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, what could have happened? You have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. That guy just has chaos all around him, doesn't he? Uh... What about this? Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Ah! Hey, pal! This is the detective's ID card. You can't keep, just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. There's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. I mean, Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, <laughs> let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. You think he's a good man? Ah, my mistake. What? But did you work together in criminal affairs? A lot of this is auto skipping past me. I just happened to catch that. Oh, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, I think that means talk. There you go. So this ID card belonged to the victim. It was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce, Go Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Sus. Evidence transfer. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but where does Chief Prosecutor Sky call them out there to to the parking lot? And Lana's confessing as much. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna be interesting, but let's see. Found Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Overdrive, Chief Prosecutor Sky, do such a thing. 
Okay, we did this. Uh... Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, can I go in the building, please? Alright, let's examine. This creepy thing. Um, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. Y you made it. Of course you made it. Is the handprint... Oh, oh, you guys can't see it. On the thing's face. Like the eyeball. Right there. Is that what's on his cheek? It's my masterpiece. Oh, don't show it to me again. You made this detective gumshoe? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so I can go anywhere. There's no switch, so just dance, dance, dance until the batteries die. That's some big ass battery. Poor blue badger, ready to dance until he drops. Ah, uh, that's evidence, okay. Blue badger panel added to the court record. A work of art designed by the chief of detectives and created by Detective Gumshoe. Why? Why? The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, police drama in action. Emma. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. The usual wanted posters are hanging up at the bulletin board here. Do you know the space? Did you do dial 911? You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in those posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Who hardly looks human? Are those the drawings? I always get excited when I come to the police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Uh huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Look at all those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. I'm sure. Funny, they're talking about donuts. I thought they were talking about the weather. Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, you do that. Oh, this is police. And then I said, hey, you do that. Your soup will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard and cried. What? I guess he was the saluting and he's wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. <laughs> Mr. Ray, do you think you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea. Why? Well, I think they're designed for a panda. A panda? Not that I have scientific proof, it's just a theory. Okay, I have to know this theory. Um, do you mind ask? Do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? It was when I was in a, on a school trip, I saw a tool car and it came to me. We'd just been at the zoo, see? What about zebras? Or did they not have those at your zoo? <laughs> What's the theory? It doesn't make sense. Better who's announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprinting sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. <laughs> A family wouldn't want to set at home. It's good for finding out who snuck the, into the cookie jar. I think most families can figure out without the extra help. <laughs> oh man. Is there nothing else? Oh, you know what? Every time we pick something up, we gotta do this new thing. Oh, wait. Wait. Miles Edgeworth, 1712. This is the day of the, day of the crime. It might have take place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only it was held up at a couple of extra red lights. It wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you, you'll never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light. Okay. Oops. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. 
I know better than to go blabbing, blabbing on things I don't know about. No, I want you. I wouldn't want you to do that either. I'm asking you about the thing you made. Good. Dude, oh my god, Jada has had the gnarliest farts. And stinging up the whole stinking house. Got anything else? No. Okay, what if I... Oh god, it's the same thing. Oh my god, Jada, this smells terrible. He's gone. She's still not here. You're seeing this? Fuck. I'm lost again. Nothing. I'm a lawyer. Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You show those to me every time we meet, pal. I sure do. Real men show their police badge. Enough said. I wish I had a badge. Even ID card would be nice. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found the detective's card, didn't I? I used this. I already showed this to him, did I not? Belongs to Bruce Goodman. You can do just about anything these days with a card. And that and the right secret number. Scary! I showed this to him already. It's only scary because you keep dropping your card, Detective Gumshoe. I forget my secret number a lot too. It's scary. But but I'm me after all. And what could be wrong with that? I think I'll stay out of this conversation. I I have no idea what I should be doing. You wanna see this creepy thing? Oh my god. This might be the most frustrating chapter. The defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? Oh, tackling lungus. Oh, yeah, the pickles. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Ugh. Shield of some kind. Maybe it's made of chocolate and its owner took a bite of it. I don't remember this part. It appears to be made of bronze with gold plating. It's not worth much. $70 top. This girl has a thing about pricing everything, doesn't she? I wonder what that big K stands for. Mysterious. We already know this. Why is everything reactivated? I... Am so lost. Oh, God, this one is annoying. Nothing is new, dude. Fuck it. We're presenting everything. We did this, we did this. Did that really stuff that has no meaning this one really wants you to present everything to everyone hey that's it as the king of prosecutors wore the message was got yesterday we get the words ceremony detective gumshoe of course pal i got an award for diligence myself 
Uh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is there a ward of shield? You'd think the shield would be, uh, defense. Hmm. And why is it broken? Ah, oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. I was proud of Miss Ragworth for winning that award. Even tell the Nace Harris in the prosecutor's office. Nace Harris? Must be because of the rumors. Good lord, it's annoying. Finding all these tiny little things. The, the other chapters, you could figure out like some obvious things to show to them. This one is just off the walls. Just throw, show everything. He's in a top spot. Again. Again. Yeah. Phoenix, we were involved. Yeah. Well, it all started with the murder of the defense attorney Hammond. Don't recap this. We've been there. There it is. But Miss Redworth was found innocent. Isn't Barrow? There have been, always been rumors about Miss Redworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses, nothing outright, but there are always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the Department of Higher Ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, the latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this thing for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why are you handling this case, Detective Gumshoe? You met the guy who is... What was his name? Uh, the guy in the parking lot. That'd be Off Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the chief of police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of a Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer from West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene, maybe. Good Lord. Receive from Detective Gumshoe allows Bear to investigate the crime scene. Does that mean I can kick out lunch lady? Yeah, but I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Thanks, Gumshoe. I appreciate you. Wait. You gotta observe it first. $20. Hey, look here. It looks like something's been crossed out. Maybe it was a letter or something to detect Gumshoe. This $20. Annual bonus, twenty dollars. Um, I think a couple of zeros are missing. Oh, that sounds about right. At least in the detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. Yeah, fucking twenty dollars. It's awful. That's pretty much what uh twenty like fifteen dollar, twenty five dollar. We appreciate all the hard work you do for us every year. Here's a $15 gift certificate to King Supers. Oh, fuck off. At least it's not as bad as some places, like some government agencies. It's like, here's a $25 gift certificate, but you're only allowed to spend it on office supplies. Fuck you, that's not a bonus then. Fuck you. Tell me how to spend a bonus. That's not a bonus then. Uh, let's see. What are the crime scene? Oh, she's gone, finally. Looks like the investigation is still going. Have to get in. Oh, that must be what they need. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, it looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. Oh, nope. I don't know who this is. This is weird. I'll see you in dreams tonight then, baby. What's up, Kira? How you doing, my dude? That was weird. Okay, it was her. Oh, still here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, hello. Why this 
prize books. Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in the criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? You think she has one boyfriend? Are you kidding? Uh... Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? I don't remember his voice. I think that sounds about right. You're looking like a, a dog we lost. It's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. I think they're all, they're both in on it. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. He's got his own music. Just woke up from an after work nap. Oh, I'm so jelly of you. How are you feeling? There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime? A cold grave for men who've lost their dream. And me, I wash over them as they sleep. Dreaming of deserts, harsh, harsh judgment. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch its interest? Who's he talking to? There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime, a cold grave for men who lost their dream. And me, I'd watch over them as they sleep during it. But you just said the same thing. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch his interest? Would you mind reading this for me? Bosses. I warn you, Ben Lynch's amigo rat in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe. Ah, oh, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding birthday party or something. Huh? Look, where should I say? Look, where should it should say letter of introduction? It says invitation. Ah, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries. This proves it's, be it's from Detective Gumshoe better than blood test. Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a second. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like, be like the settlers, strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny, let's have a hoot nanny. He just says words. Reading what he's... When he speaks, it feels like I'm having a stroke. Go to South. Police investigations I like settling land. <laughs> Emma. Well, Mr. Ramp, what do they say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, oh man. Well, that sucks. Uh... 5, 12 p.m. The prospector's brass red seed came in like a trot, real slow like. A trot? My Madonna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seems the chief prosecutor was lying and wait. Maybe. Waiting for a prince to ride in on, ride in on his bright red horse. So what you mean is the killer intended to use Edward's car all along. About this creepy thing. All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're gonna go draw evidence. Go and draw evidence on someone. What? That's what we do in Texas. You're from the West. You're from LA. <gasps> uh, I'm. I, my brain. Remind me to never visit Texas. A uh, toe shield suits the boy well. What exactly could you shield that? A toe or not, maybe? Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edwards? You don't like him, right? You get the point. You know, when I was a detective, I got one of these. You were a detective? Hmm. Let me guess, did it have a K for King and Detectives on it? Hey, they could use the same shield over and over. Note to self, the prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. You know it, they've gotten cheaper with every passing year, I tell you. Okay, time. 
Okay, same thing. What's up, Lonnie? I'm here. I'm queer. Ready to rusty na naughty things in your ear. Please don't whisper. ASMR is not my thing. How you doing, Lonnie? Get a cookie. Get a cookie. Get a. And this cookie from Lonnie. And this cookie from Lonnie. Um, I didn't drop it. Hey, go. Hey, go. Go get it. Oh, I should say go for the cookie. She was out, dude. Okay, so he didn't care about this, right? Ah, crap. Cross his passport. He found it a good distance away from the crime scene. A good distance. In this rat hole. If you want distance, just get yourself to Texas. Fuck off. Texas. This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. I think he's outing himself. What difference does a few yards make, compadre? I like yourself. You can counter suspicious evidence think of Texas. There's no better way of studying than to hang out with the pros. I'm an attorney. I see your branch. Looks pretty around. A badge is a star, a lone star shining in the midnight time sky. A beam of light illuminating evil doers who come in dark of night. Note to self, evil doers are weak against starlight. <laughs> hey, that's a sheriff's badge. Okay. Will you talk to me now, Officer Marshall? Could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? Who's Goodman? He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means a witness, Miss Angel Star. One stay out of the chest, a fine piece of work. This here is the autopsy report. Thank God, finally! Goodman's autopsy report added the court record. Due, death due to loss of blood. One knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot? So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. This man. It's been a long ass day, dude. We're all exhausted. I've been potated. I didn't even hear the potate happen. I didn't even hear the... It says cartooned. Why did I get potated? Why did I get potated? I have questions. Hold on a minute. Is the cartooned, um... I am. I look like a fucking Disney character. Someone's gonna come into stream and think this is actually what I do for my stream is this over or this uh this filter overlay. I guarantee it. I don't know why it potated. That was weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with my southern accent this time. I don't think he needs a southern accent. He needs a spaghetti western voice. What's a spaghetti western voice? Oh, it wasn't a potato before? Okay, that's weird. I, I didn't push anything. 
the spaghetti western voice. Um, I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? You call me out. They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a potato man now, right? You're a patrolman now. So how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on the hands right now. I'm keeping an eye on in the meantime. Boys, boys be happening. Have a good luck on the homework. A stereotypical Hollywood cowboy voice. I don't know if I know a stereotypical Hollywood co cowboy voice. I don't watch them. I can't think of the last movie I've seen a cowboy in. We're just holding on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd though. Detective. Oh, Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth. That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle room by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation. Hmm. Why would you do that? Were you scared? Were you scared? Did any of this... Oh, I can slide again. Thank you. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. So something was in the trunk? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of the subordinate's car. My subordinate's car. What a luxury car! It just screams, I have money to burn! Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Ah, oh, there's really not much here, is there? Hey, Block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are regulated regulated to B Block. I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B Block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. <laughs> Someone just leave their cell phone here? This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's scienti so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check it out. Right. Let's check it out. It's doing it for me. Rotate. Engage rotor. Oh. Apparently that's the button to open it. Our pants were card in the courtroom ask him for a friend. I mean, I wouldn't. Mm, this phone's still on the redial screen. Redial? Um, it's the right. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but I... Even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just you never know what people from what people from your generation. She just fucking called us old. Whatever. Let's check this phone out. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know? Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. Is that the name of that other anime that's like Steel Samurai? It's Pink Princess, right? These are hard to come by, you know. There's the answer. I see the series is as popular as ever with the kids. This phone's in great condition. That's a weird symbol. Now, to see who the owner of this phone called last. No 
note to self, but the sense journey doesn't think first. He just presses the button. Am I supposed to know the song? I feel bad if I'm missing something. You think they're gonna pick up? I think they'll pick up. You think it's the Steel Samurai song? That's kind of great. They'll pick up any any second. I'm surprised it hasn't gone to voicemail. What's going on over there? Nothing? Ah. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that phone there, didn't you? Well, yeah. What's phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. What? It's my sister's. You didn't know that was your sister's phone? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who'd she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. Of course, one of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, is that? Uh, I'm sorry, that was my phone. Well, your phone. Yeah, it's uh kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. They're not from Texas. Uh oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Cell phone out of the court record. Property of Lana Sky. Last call made at five eighteen on the day of the murder. Emma's, yeah, a bit of an airhead. Uh, was that? Oh. This rope. Is it? We're not talking about that. Yep. They laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Oh! What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. 625-12-2. Goodman. That's the guy that died. Look! Something's written on it! You're right. Let's see. 6... 7 S. 12-2. There's a name printed on the paper of that Goodman. Er. There's a name printed on the paper above that Goodman. Fuck, I didn't mean to skip that. Well, so what does this miss me mean, mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Go to self. Our deductive reasoning go to Edward's not right. Mr. Edwards wouldn't know what this means either. Ooh, Goodman's note added to the court record. E block is through there. That's where visitors park. I can see the lunch light car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Cannibalism. Doesn't that strike Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. <laughs> Let's do... Bruce Goodman, 36-year-old male, February 21st, between 4 and 5.30, blood loss, wound was caused by a four and a half inch knife, a single stand wound was found, okay. 
This one uh, we already observed, right? Detective Goodman and my sister? That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the pros prospector tomorrow is none other than Ezra than himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister... You were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I, I don't know about? Oh, please don't be lovers. He's weird. I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will? Someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edwards have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence and arranging testimonies mean he was an unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he knew you. aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Oh. Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambi. Chief Prosecutor La Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't wrestle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deal. What you're saying, or what you're saying, what you're saying, Edgeworth was making deals to win trials. Where there's gun sets, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he likes Edgeworth? I think that's what it says. Mr. Wright. I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, the cell phone, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song, your phone plays when it rings. That was her phone. <laughs> this is still Samurai th scene theme song, isn't it? A popular TV show for kids. The phone that rang really wasn't mine. It was yours. At 5.15, or 5.18, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? Hi. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? Bye. She hung up. She hung up right away. I see. Ooh. Detective is murdered. And the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. I think I figured out why my back is hurting. It's because I'm stretched out over here. Or... I actually think it might be the chair at my office fucking sucks. Because I've had to go to the office the last two days. My back has been killing me. Oh, excuse me. There's a yawn for you, Lonnie. Uh, like maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. TBC. Speaking of to be continued, I watched Across the Spider-Verse yesterday. That started off slow and then turned freaking incredible. I'm super stoked. It got dark. It got real dark. My back hurts because I'm old and decrepit. I mean, that's most of the reason. For me. Mm. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? 
Frankly, there's still a lot of gray areas. Rather, the whole thing is a bit one big gray area. Don't worry about me. No matter what the outcome, I'm ready to accept my fate. I'm leaving you, sis. So right. Let me offer you a word of advice. Yeah? Defense attorneys should never believe their clients. Oh, she just told me that she's lying. About being guilty. The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. This guy, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there's one decisive difference between you and her. And that is? You're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. I think my skeleton may be trying to hatch. <laughs> I love that. that that's funny. My first, oh, my first trial without Faye, Faye helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. Yeah, see, I'm not alone. Ouch. Word is in session. There's no incision for the trial, Miss Lonnie Sky. The defense attorney is re er, the defense is ready, Your Honor. <sighs> Excuse me. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgeworth! You guys know Futurama? Warnstrom, that's what that is. It's been two months, but I haven't... Er, it's been two months, but I haven't been in the courtroom since this trial. I hope that... Er, I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. My personal feelings is that I want you on me. How can that not affect the trial? I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is on our is, that, is on our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough <sighs> to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Forceful in person, I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will now pay. She will now pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to her crime, a professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edward. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. Deal me with your justice right. Present me with all your evidence. Exactly. See that name alone. The cough up queen. Hmm, haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Ho oh, ho, caviar! Have you never eaten caviar before? Oh god. The judge is really wolfing it down. Oh god, she's making me hungry! Oh, and for you, I have a fiesta bowl. I love fiesta bowls. Uh, thanks. I just don't think we can. Oh. Will the witness state her name in profession? Ah, I knew, sir. Did you, did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? That's weird. It is too early for lunch. Your name in profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. <laughs> that sounds vile. That sounds disgusting. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Vomit. Name. Profession. Now. Name is Angel Star. Don't for go forgetting it. I find myself running Munchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Miss Redworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. Prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Hurry up! <sighs> I, can't. I think it's Edward's voice that makes me yawn. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Edward. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. 
Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Uh, huh? What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Mrs. Angelstar was a special investigator with the police. He was a first-rate homicide detective. What? I started with a detective? I like how she pulls out her pen and notepad. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. I, I knew it. I know who you are. Cough up. Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. Very well. You may continue with your description, Miss Star. Yes, who is this lady? How does everyone know her but not me? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot of the prosecutor's office is divided in two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. A block is for visitors and clients. The chain divider separates two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor's spaces, yes? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with his knife and went to try to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who is this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Of course it was, the parking lot with Edgeworth's car. Okay. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dried, isn't it? Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. <laughs> it seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Really? You, you call me a loser? Sounds like you're, uh, you're threatened or something. Shall I proceed to, to crush what little hope they have remaining? Oh, you can crush me all you want. But this justice thing is, is going to take precedence. If you can, then give them your words, Miss Star. Wait, what? What? Wait, are they talking about me? That's not how this works. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. I sent something. Perhaps it was in my family home day. Detective's intuition at work. Through the wire fences, I left the chief prosecutor standing next to a gar- To a garnish- A garish car. Garish car? There it is. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Okay, is that right hand? Is she left-handed? And she thrust the pointy tip of the knife in the detective. <gasps> Golden chest. Feed me your lunch, mommy. <laughs> Mm, bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend, how touching. Mm. As you can see, there's no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed in Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? Uh, I need a physical demonstration. I I'm still thinking about that. It's really a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. <laughs> nice. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Of course you did. Hold it! How did you know? I, I respect the prosecutor's basic avoidance of crime. But their methods are ugly and twisted. These methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Even that they are used to raising and giving the evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Mister, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. If I hadn't been laid off by the prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. That's motive. Laid off? She was fired? Me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I'm a pro. As you know, my testimony is unbiased and flawless. Yeah, definitely unbiased. Mm -hmm. Very well, you may be continuing, Star. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to your boyfriend. Which one? 
His boyfriend. He's a detective? Not that boyfriend. The security guard. That boyfriend. You have several? Yes. This boyfriend is that boyfriend and the other boyfriend. Care to join? I was going to say, he's going to be like, can I join? But she offered. He got another boyfriend position still open for applicants. Dibs! A dibs is a dibs. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. Coward. Note itself, the judge had to think before replying. <laughs> That's funny. The security guard room is in the lawn. In A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. Why were you on the other side then? I guess she had to walk around. Hmm. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. Oh wait. wait. Did I say that? She whatever. I sense something. Perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. You sense something? So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like. How would you say? Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin ca- I almost said something else. But view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's intuition, wasn't the victim Mr. Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Uh, young cheese? A pale white cheese not yet hanging with experience on the streets. A green horn. Hmm. Um, must be a hard yellowed and sharp as a tack. Oh my god. <sighs> I must be hard. Uh, yellow and sharp as a tack. Yeah, with the odor of an old cheese to match. <sighs> well, so he's destroying this, dude. Yeah, she can destroy me. In any case, there is a lot. I, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. I feel something stirring. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. A garish car, you mean? Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. M Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth. Wasn't it? Indeed it was. Hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you were sure it was the defendant? I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. That fucking face right there is going to destroy me. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Doomed! Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly see the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms, ergo. You are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, Rookie. Rookie? I've won three cases. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Is that a threat? Don't do that. Don't do the hair flick eye look. Ugh. I'm in a dangerous position. I'll fry you like a little fritter. Like a fritter, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. I got something. Never mind. That, that was inspiring. Really? Was it really? Are you sure about that? I, I, I don't think that was an inspiring judge. I believe I've heard that tackling so elsewhere. You could carry plagiarism. Maybe we relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. A, a photograph! You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snapped. As you can picture. I'm convinced it's her in dress up. Because they look very similar. In fact, one of my lunch boxes is rigged with a camera. Okay. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. 
Witness. Why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? You, a prosecutor? Kick okay, in. Ah, right, she's going all of this by herself. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Did they fabricate it? Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Moan of the crime is photographed by Angel Star. Uh oh, that is unmistakably Lana Sky. Is it? So, what was the defendant doing at that time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. She wasn't in that photo. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. I like to say the blade was about four inches long. You know what, four inches, right, boy? Is that right, Miss Redworth? It's your knife, after all. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that, that's about right. Never mind the, the tally marks and the, <clears throat> the measurement stick. Prosecutors are, by nature, well versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. <laughs> hmm, perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? And she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into the Detective Goodman's chest. Tell the court why he didn't try to stop the crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm. Your defense is a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. Next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I... I see. Also, the blood stain was on her... this side. It's only a flesh wound, Miss Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Star's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. Fatality. What do we do? Is, is it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. Damn, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend when I sensed something. Perhaps it was my finely honed detective intuition at work. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief. Pro Your photo does not. Oh. It does. But. Okay, maybe not. Holding a knife in her right hand. And she's thrust the point each of the knife in the gun. Oops. I mean to do that. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend when I sensed something. She didn't say a time at all, did she? Chief Hosky was holding a knife in her right hand. I think this is gonna. Then she starts her pointing to the ninth detective Goodwin's chest.
Loss of blood from chest wound, yep. Uh... Oh, this was the right one? No way. Can you witness this? You saw a misguided stabbed victim with the knife. As I've already said, yes. Have a snack. I swear to my finest salmon for a lunch. Oh, give it. Mmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. This is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it? Yep, there it is. And why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? <clears throat> Mr. Edwards, your thoughts? Objection. Fuck off! That'd be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. Yes. Yes. It was still stronger than you, your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. Listen, you. I got you off for fucking... I got you off. I got you off trial for murder. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection! Yeah, fuck you. And how can you tell that? Because the blood. Shit. Blood spatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? But it's a black and white photograph. She was changing her oil. Uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Could doesn't mean shit. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem, except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? <clears throat> you got a better idea? Objection! Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed in the crime. Bam. As it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Hmm. Some pro witness, eh? My headset's dying. That's it? If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Okay. She's both precious and endearing, but frustrating. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold calculating like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection! You don't know that. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Uh, excuse me. Well, are those gloves? Doesn't she already wear gloves? Surgical look gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh... If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Ah! She just wore it and became a, an orc from 40k. Those gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder. A serious offense. Witness! Add this to your testimony. Murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. makes no sense. I wish you would tell me a time. I saw the chief prosecutor standing to a car when I sensed something was off. A lunchbox to my boyfriend. Prove it. Oh, 
What am I missing? That's just a weird thing to say. That's gonna be nothing. I sense something. Perhaps it was my finally home detectives. It was finally honed, then how did you miss that? I have no idea what to show them right now. I saw the Jeep resting next to a garish car. Murder was planned at the rubber grooves. Prove it. She said a fucking time. Can I check this? What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves? I forget you can repress. The gloves were admi admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. A rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. She, she just outed herself. Yes, she planned all this. It's a premeditated crime on her part. Impressive, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking that this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only for the right? We can make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always knew I was on my way when I sent something to the wire fence. Ah! I have no fucking idea. guys like she's given me nothing and nothing is in my my inventory that would even remotely connect
All right, we're gonna literally go down the entire line again because nothing is working. Yep, doesn't work. Load. Because it's faster. That can't be it. That's ridiculous. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. Maybe this, because... It, um... Like, why would you be delivering lunch at 4 p.m.? But that, that feels iffy. It's obviously nothing to do with the lunch. When I sense something, perhaps it was finely honed detective intuition at work. When I sense something, it means nothing. That's worthless. I saw the chief prosecutor sitting next to a garish car. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, spoil it, because I'm... I have no fucking clue. None of this works. Murder was planned, rubber gloves prove it. Yep. Pointless information. You have circumstantial evidence that the murder wasn't premeditated. The killer didn't come prepared with their own weapon. So it would be the knife. I guess that could be considered that, yeah. In my brain, when I hear something's planned, I thought of it like further on, like they planned is like, all right, Edgeworth is going to come home or park here and I'm going to steal his knife out of his car and then I'm going to try to frame him for it by stabbing the dude with it. That's where my brain went when they say planned, but then maybe they meant just like, I plan on killing them. Thank you, Kira. Witness, do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunchboxes for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. That's what this caused. The bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to the prosecutor. The defendant is the chief prosecutor in the district, right? Mommy. Did you see that? Did you, it said mommy. It said mommy. But it skipped it so we can see it. 
The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, Wookie? Yeah, keep thr or, uh, keep trying to downsize me. In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder, and that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. Those gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she also not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Oh, you got sweaty spaghetti. Oh. This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Oh, that was her O face. Do you guys see it? Order. 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 Great. Now the time is turning in our favor. Great job, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. Stop it. Don't do that. Right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. I thought he was going to say, uh, my salad. But, you know, humble pie, I guess. I guess pie's always good. What? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premed premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care of that lunch lady is that lunch lady over there. Oh, snap. Is he threatening her? The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. That is the only thing the prosecution needs to prove. Nothing else. Very uh, uh, good, Miss Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. Do you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him? It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Goodness. Please tell us what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you? Our powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked up right there. The victim is summoned from the police department to the pre prosecutor's office. It does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? So, if I ordered a pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? Okay, let's, let's not acknowledge that. In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. You know, I really like the storytelling in this episode in particular. Oh, we're, we're gonna get her. Where's the stabby stab? Oh, right there. Mmm, this is gonna feel delicious. Objection, bitch. You say she stabbed him again and again, but you couldn't have witnessed that. You testing me? I'll show you testing. Test these nuts. And I'll test you. That's not a lot of surprise. Are you supposed to expect to eat that? Where are you keeping all these? Keeping all these boxes in her box. I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. Ooh, <laughs> that face, she is not happy with Edgeworth. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this. But take a look. The autopsy report states that the death was due to loss of blood from one stab wound. Yeah, Edgeworth. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Good show, Mr. Edgeworth. I was proving that. Oh, God. What a hunk. He's my hero, really. I did that, Emma. There you go. I did that, Judge. Why is he getting all the credit? What about my objection? No one noticed? Well, witness. What the heck is that? Why are you putting taffy on some rice with a fork in it? You got the crime scene set, right? Uh, okay, thanks. That was a, a lunchbox of a murder crime scene? Fucking weird. 
I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, or when she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. That her blood from her victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. So you didn't see it happen? And tell us what you saw. That you thought was blood. Testify. The fact that Edwards was on trial two months ago has tarnished his reputation in the court of public opinion, and you actually get to see that in this one. Yeah. And it looks like he's uh he's actually looking for the truth, not necessarily trying to prosecute, which is good. A red muffler looked like blood to me. What's a muffler? I know what a muffler for a car is. A red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Is she wearing one? She's not wearing one. What's a muffler? Maybe she is wearing one. I don't know what a muffler is. Objection! Miss Star, I demand an explanation. Objection! Stop it! I'm objecting! Wouldn't, uh, the witness is clearly not suited for detective work. Oh, snap! You tell her, Edgeworth. Oh, he, he's just trying to get in my pants with his fancy little words over here. What? The suspect is not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you've proved it yourself. With this photograph. Get her, Edgeworth. Oh, she, she's getting double teamed. Not in the way that she was hoping for. Only professional lunch lady could be so utterly clueless. Congratulations. Perhaps you finally found your true calling in life. Uh, harsh words, but good. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection, chopped liver? What? But it was there. A scarf. No, not like it's something red, really. Well, no. Where were we? Witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but back to business. What? Oh, boy. Very well, Witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Oh, she's upset. He's spaghetti. You ate her lunch and now she's eating her desserts. Yeah. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. That you did it. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her, her, her testimony. Oops. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony might just be the moment of truth. Tell the truth, bitch! After the murder, the suspect left the one behind the partition off to her side. I quickly got her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. You'd have to go around. You wouldn't have been able to make it. You couldn't have done that. I quickly got her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. And yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my early testimony. Chief prosecutor made an escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Huh. You couldn't have run that. You were great determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. Okay, Ali wannabe. That's me, Angel Star. That one's a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kind of snake. <laughs> Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. We can talk about that later. No thanks. Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Uh, oil drum? Okay. Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. Better is this one. The leopard woman. Rawr. You're just explaining yourself now, aren't you? Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Murders in my mini mini. Okay. So, where's this partition on the floor plans? There you go. I'm sure she means. Or I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. Hell yeah, she can't get over there. 
There was a wall there about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? I quickly caught her, explained her rights and arrested her on the spot. You say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Aha! Uh -huh. In the fence, bitch. Hmm. Maybe you should press her on for more details. No! I didn't mean to do that! Fuck! How far away was she? Was she when she witnessed the murder? I guess I'd just look at the picture to find out. Very well, you may continue your testimony. No, no, we're going back. There it is. I'd like to see this on the floor plan, just to be safe. The lunch land car was... Yep. She was a vis... Or she was a visitor, thus she was parked in Block B. So you witnessed the murder from here? That would make sense. Thank you. That would make... Or that would make you about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss... Or is that correct, Miss Star? Yes, that's right. There was a chain link fence in front of you? I went over it, of course. You can't. It goes all the way to the top. Amazing. The Gotham Queen lunch lady athlete, indeed. It would have taken her a long, a little time to climb over the fence. But she couldn't have gone in my sister that fast. Also, she looks like someone she's probably wearing heels. That would be very difficult to do. Yeah, that fence was... Whoops. Yeah, that fence was about nine feet high, too. So how did Miss Guy not get away? Yep, there it is. Aftermath of Edgeworth's trial, his needs for redemption plays in his whole character arc through the whole series. I love the episodic continuity. A lot of games like this don't pay that much attention to continuity. That's true. It is making a bed. Ah, oh, yes. When I rested her, she mentioned the muffler. She mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? Why would she mention it? Like, I need it? If I remember exactly what I've told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. Just one word? So, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else. Phone call? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. There it is. Her phone? She can't mean. My phone. You mean the cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately. A memory. It's like a salmon headed upstream, you see. No, the course doesn't see Miss Star. The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. Why? Why would your first instinct be called that? Then your cell phone. On the wall? That's right. Near the car. There was an emergency phone on the wall. Was it out of order? I don't remember. Apparently it was out of order. Okay. And so she... And so she used her cell phone? Indeed. The emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do to please the rookie defense attorney. There's some better things you could do to please me. The word muffler was overheard during a call. Okay. I saw it all. But she tried the phone on the wall, but I had to use her cell instead. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Ha! I was going to ask the same thing. I only say this one time, so listen close, rookies. Chief Prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. And she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. But she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. Why? Why would she do that? And during that time, you climbed. Or in, and during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. Then, when I boldly grabbed her arm, the Chief Prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? 
chief prosecutor made the chief prosecutor made to escape, but it, against Angel Star resistance is futile. She made to escape? Can you be more specific? She brushed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pate of foie gras. Foie gras? Isn't that... I don't know how to pronounce that. Isn't that... Duck? Or is that the liver? Huh? She even kicked up an oil drum at me. An oil drum? There was an oil drum lying on his side at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. Hmm, what's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other... Ah! The parking lot entrance! Exactly. That's right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the partition of the oil drums. Suck it. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more, though. So, Miss Sky tried to run. I'm sorry. Oops. I'm sorry, my sister is... I'm sorry, my sister is suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. Fatty duck liver, yeah. I was right. I said duck and liver. Look at me go. Uh, after the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind the partition on her side. It quickly caught to her. Blah 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 blah. It's gotta be two of these, right? Why would you use... Let me save! kicked over. Oh, I guess that would have been after the fact, huh? Um... Why? Why wouldn't she just use this? What? Why would she bother to run to that other phone that makes no sense? Why can't I present that? in my brain and it makes sense but it won't let me present it
You can't do that. And I can't present anything through all this. Okay, what if I do this? Oh no, you- wait, well, let's see. No! Oh, I didn't mean to do presser. Why does it always move it? Like, it's always the same for each one, but sometimes press them is at the top, and other times it's at the bottom. Pretty sure I already did this. It's too far, man. Why won't it let me do it? Ugh. Why would she? What's mention of the muffler? That makes no sense. Why would she? Why? 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 It makes no sense. None of this makes sense. You wouldn't have been able to see her from your location. There it is. Oh, Miss Star, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. This is a Bowman detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Edgeworth. You can see how biased she is, dude. She's biased against you. Directly. I would have thought you would see my knight in shining armor, prosecutor. You, put together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Oh, so you were trying to frame him too? Man, everyone's going after Edgeworth, isn't he? Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. <clears throat> Let's look at the four plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true... Yep. You couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B-Block, you couldn't have seen it. Mortal Kombat fighting music. Order, order. What is the meaning of this? I caught her in a lie, Your Honor. It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. <laughs> Stop it. That's quite, a, that's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you would allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about what she saw, where she saw it, and the order of events. Pretty sure she's lying about what she saw straight up. She lied about what she saw. In other words, she didn't see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It does seem hard to imagine that she could have. Very logical. What's the matter, Star? Yeah, I got your lunchbox. Um, that's right. I hate to bother you while you're celebrating a victory. Why would Miss Star lie like that? Huh? Shh, don't give it. Don't look at her a thought. Why would she say that my sister had tried to use a phone but failed? It doesn't make any sense. Why lie about something so insignificant? 
Oh. Dang, she's right. I mean, maybe she really did see her try to use the emergency phone. I see no room for doubt here. Yo, I'm watermelon. You ordered the patooey on rice, right? It's your right. And if that you had something there, fuck. <clears throat> One more try. Mm, I see it in your eyes. You haven't learned your lesson, have you? Yeah, I need to be punished as worse. Tell me I'm a bad boy. That was exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Okay, fine. She couldn't have been on B block. This guy tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Scar to lie about, or Miss Star to lie about it. Witness to lie? I see. Let's say the witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It would mean... Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. <laughs> Give me any question to our clever words, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? Visiting her boyfriend. All the testimony we've heard until now points in this one direction. The place from where Miss Star saw the crime. Da -da -da -da. Security room! This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second floor so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency room phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. <sighs> not in this case, Your Honor. Witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the partition is here. Hell yeah, dude. I remember in your testimony, you said, you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? How many years have I been getting the better of men? Oof. To think that tables could have turned. Today a man has got the better of Angel Star. Ooh! Murder. Murder! Witness. What have you done? You should be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. Guilty? Is she talking about Miss Sky? Um, Mr. Wright, does this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? This makes sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. She took. But that picture is from the other side. This picture tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. The truth still stands. It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what your reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? M me? Who else? It's alright. Let's review what we know. Shit. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B block. It must make a vital difference. But what? What would change? Angle of the view of the crime. I mean, they all would change. Uh, maybe not the distance so much. I recall last week when we talked, was there mention of lighting? Or is that another case? I'm gonna say the angle. 
because that photograph is a different angle. Why the angle which you saw the crime occur would change? The angle? What do you mean? The angle of the tangle? Uh, well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and, um, due to sort of more 3D view of the crime. And this is important. Why? Uh, shit. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider, Mr. Wright? My bad. My bad. I don't have enough life to be doing this. There's a difference in lighting. Lighting? What does that mean? Well, it means, uh... See, the security guard station is on the second level. So she has... Really? Alright. I'm trying... She said 30 feet. It looks about the same. It changes the difference between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. It's about the same. See? The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Objection! What she saw is not the question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Fucking... I tried to do that earlier! Miss Star, we just crying from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky? We're witness you. Yes? Are you trying to poison me? You ordered the squid wheels, right? This is weird. She keeps offering food like that. The quality of my lunch is, has gone from low to inedible. I was bringing PB and J lunch from fresh, with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Yo, boysenberry. Mm, boysenberry for the boyfriend. It wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass walled station. You fucking straight up lied. Before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. That is a long ass way to run. There's no way. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking and be blocked. There's quite a detour. You didn't make it. No, there's no way. You would have had to run all the way back up. Ooh. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. <laughs> five minutes? And why did she just wait around for you to grab her? Mm, this consider thing changes things considerably. It means her whole testimony gets thrown out. And she's not a viable witness. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I knew it. I have photographic evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. Your spork? Do you have a point? The spork is a wonderful invention. Would you like another caviar or lunch? Absolutely! Uh oh. Mr. Reed, we have to do something! Do you have any evidence to stop this? Uh five minutes. minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make pasta in that amount of time. You like it al dente. <laughs> yeah, not much exact Thai pasta and the knots, rookie. What? A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, uh, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. But you have the instincts of a killer. 
You would run. This time was different. Miss Sky dawdled at the scene of the crime. She had, she even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. <laughs> well then, it seems you've come to the end of this testimony. The witnesses grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. Yeah, get it. Mr. Edward, is the next witness ready to go? Oh wow, just fucking dropping her out is like, you lie too much, get out of here. Unfortunately, I appear to have over overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I mean, you don't need to call her a can, but we'll screw her. That sounds fine. I'm afraid that the cough up queen has been dethroned. With that, fortune is adjourned. Aha, get wrecked. Oh? You? Also, you already offered that up. Miss Redworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to fall. Voice. Uh, voice off on me. Voice? Is that a word? I prefer not to take defense team leftovers. Anything else to say? I. I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What? Word was that? Is this another one of her trick lunch boxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Oh. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Ooh, a triple decker. Leave a tri triple decker in your courtroom toilet, judge. Out of, out of deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. At the lunch that Moto says, won't be disappointed. Is she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? Fuck. Lies! Nothing but lies! I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Now, as a matter of fact, and now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Of course you did not. Two types of blood were found in this shoe. One, of course, was the victim's, and the other blood type, I sat at the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Why are you just now bringing that up? The shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. What the fuck? This court system is a farce. W what? There was blood found on, on that shoe? Wait, lunch time for all your lunch and decisive evidence, please. I feel like she's trying to advertise to me. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why isn't this the first time I've ever heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Miss Redworth. That's why I took the liberty on visiting this myself. And planting it yourself? And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in prisons. Forensics. Oh yeah, she was just dating everyone to get away from this murder. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. Yeah. How do you like them apples? What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, the shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, right Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edward sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edward. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, Shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. Yeah, someone that you're romantically involved with. As you can see, it was proved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence with stretch worth. <clears throat> is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. You can at least study some evidence law. Really? Prosecution's complaints now notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against your witness. Anything to ensure that guilty are properly judged. White enamel shoe bears traces of blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. Hmm. Whose shoe is it? Oh, Goodman's shoe. 
Okay, victim shoe added to the court record. Very well, Mr. Ray. You may cross-examine the witness. Fuck! Uh, we were almost done with her. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me, sorry. I should have mentioned this five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, five minute blank means nothing. And why didn't and why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This one, the suspect is admitting she did it? The false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Let's get this over with. Now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? And he found the shoe of the scene of the crime. At the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. <sighs> Holy crap. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill trained pooch, you snuck off a sh with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. The shoe was my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket? Our basket I have here. It carries more than lunch boxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunch box bag, really. In any case, you removed valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. That's, yeah, that's tampering. Now, tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found in the shoe. One of the, of course, of the victims. It carries lies and deceit. That's right. She's got, she's got a bag of holding of lies. So you brought it to the forensics department? If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. If you do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have blood scenes on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. And the other blood type matches that of the defendant, Miss Honest Sky. You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with a with a blood test. Claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Huh? Well, speak up. Uh well, blood comes in four types. A, B, O, and A B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. I just figure your speech, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types with all the blood tests out there. Which means that we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. That's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. They said there's very little doubt it could be anyone but Miss Lana Skies. How? Hmm. So the suspect's blood was found in the victim's shoe. We don't know that! That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. <sighs> Holy crap! I was afraid he was going to say that. The shoe proves it. It's flawless decisive evidence. Can't let this evidence go through without a fight. What is that? You ordered... You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? Ew. Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some like the client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole bat of soup. Mr. Wright! Do you ever know you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? This is critical. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? There's totally a problem! I'm not imagining things. I say there is one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. The gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now, but you couldn't take the heat, could you? Gross. The witness just insinuate drinking bath water. Wait, did she? 
It's you what Mr. Wright has to say. What is the contradiction about the victim's shoe? There's the problem with this evidence. I actually... Ooh. There's blood on the bottom. I wonder if you've noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. How would we have known that? Don't mess with me, Ricky. What'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe? Oh, she's gonna step on us. Don't threaten us with a good time. Mm, indeed, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of his shoe? Strap streams. Objection! John Edwards hasn't said he's hey, you to today. So we're not able to defend our best until he does publicly. Absolutely. We're, we're waiting for him to uh, tell us how much he loves us. How you doing, Strap? Welcome to the stream. Also, I heard a. Uh, how, how you doing? Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the popper pile. Get a cookie. Hey. And this cookie. And this cookie. I gave it to you. Oh, there you go. She, she just woke up from a nap, so she can't come over and get it. I'm doing just fine. We're just uh, doing chapter five here. Yeah, she, she's the real star of the show. That's Jaya. She's doing a little sleepy there. Uh, okay, the bottom of the shoe. How did blood get on the bottom of his shoe? I need to save. Bad stuff's gonna happen. I he won't let me. I kind of want to say it's this. Oh, I'm loving the game. Kira gifted it to the channel, and uh, I freaking loved it, dude. I I've screamed multiple times at this game. It's it's. I definitely see why it's a cult classic. Okay, why is there? What could possibly be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of his shoe? It shows that he would step in it, right? whole new pupper in the pile absolutely traces of the victim's blood no prints. that why it's got to be this one why is there blood from lana shit i'm guessing your shoe has blood on it too you just shot yourself in the foot <laughs> is it like a grinder Grind from the heel of my boot. That's right. See, she wants to step on us. Why? Oh, I got my stuff mixed up. No! That was the old save. <laughs> oh, shit! D no. Did I not save? No, guys. I don't think I saved. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. We got to burn through a bunch of this. You, the crime photo? Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Because you don't see him, right? Like, that means he would have to be stepping. I did just do a womp womp. I thought I, I swear I saved. I must not have. No, I don't want that. Yeah, you take a five minute run. I swear I saved. I must have like accidentally canceled it or something. <laughs> Thanks, Strap. Hey, have a good one. Thank you so much for popping in. Thanks so much for the follow. Hope to see you again.
Alright, five minutes. Objecting to right now. Five minutes. Okay, kick her out, kick her out, kick her out, kick her out. Then she says, No, you can't kick me out because I'm important. Found a shoe. Holy crap. I seriously I didn't save. Come on, man. Why does she have balls in her head? Balls of the rice variety. Nice, Lonnie. I was like, what are you seeing? Those aren't balls. Those are rice cakes. Not rice cakes. What are those called? The little... Little thing on it. Isn't, isn't that usually like eels or cucumber sometimes? Onigiri. There you go. Yep, 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 You got one tatted on you? Do you really? I didn't know that. Ow. Oh god. Please don't make me have to do all this again. Okay, we'll do each one real quick. Yes, please. I would like to see it. What made you get that? Do you just love onigiri? Also, whenever I load a save, is it fully healing? No, it does not. When you go quick like this, you don't realize, or you don't realize how many sound effects there are until you burn through it like this. There's nothing. Oh, I accidentally skipped a thing. There's nothing sly about a lawyer using the law as a weapon. In any case, science is always on our side. Don't forget, scientific investigation is the way of the future. Hmm. Maybe I should investigate this evidence a little more closely. mention those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now as a matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood. There it is. Can't let this evidence go through without a fight. That thing's disgusting. Let me save. Let me save. There is a problem. Ha ha! It's letting me save. Okay, I saved. There is a problem. Clap. Bottom of the shoe. Okay. What could possibly con be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of the shoe? They're nowhere to be found. The problem lies in the footprint. Yeah, there isn't one. The footprint. Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? There weren't any bloody footprints found at the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see. There were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. Stop, dude. I'm on a roll. 
picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Where? And where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order. 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 Well, witness. What? Huh? I, uh... Hey, going, Mr. Wright. But it's true that the lack of footprints is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. It's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? Yeah, say it. You got it. You got it. I see. Now I get it. Now I get it. Get what? A witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint of the truth in her testimony. What, what are you talking about? Think back to when she told, told us about apprehending the suspect. The, ch the chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A better is this one. A leopard woman. Rarer. I thought that was that was a strange thing for a normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now witness. No, oh, whoa, wrong voice. Now witness. Allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum. Was it empty? Oh. Oh. Oh, that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeway. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Well, is the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was swimming with water. That would be hard as fuck to kick over. Water? What does that mean? She's lying. Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she kn she knocked it over? The real reason? Ah, you don't mean. Yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the blood stains that would become evidence against her. It would have got on her shoes. Or their shoes. That ties things that ties things up net quite nicely. The blood stains left in the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. No, we have already established it doesn't. And after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why didn't she get blood on her? Why that's a prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. It reminds me, Miss Sky's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? Uh, I would have forgot about that part. So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Reed, do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crimes and she tried to conceal it. What? You know, you know. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. He will. I need your stories on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. The court finds defendant in Miss Lana's sky. Objection. Who just holded it? Was it Angel? Or Emma? Because if it's Angel, that was a stupid move. Little girl, what did you just say? Uh, huh? Me? Did you just say that I, Lana Star, was on the prosecution side? Oh, you're a dumb bitch. Oh, you're a dumb bitch. You were scot free. Your ego stepped in. Now it's coming home to Rooch. Rooch? Roost. Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Oh, oh yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well? 
I thought you would hand your I thought you had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. Hey, witness, don't tell me you have something else. That, yeah. You should be like, shut the fuck up. The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. You can't. I don't think lawyers can do that, right? The, the threats don't square, scare the cop up between you. Look at this. You just pull that out of your lunchbox too? A photograph. I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest. Wow. You are very prideful and egotistical, aren't you? The, whole, the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm. I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Reed, wait! Look the asphalt in this photo! Yeah, it's the asphalt. Oh, asphalt. Never mind. Hey, it's clearly wet. Raising the edge trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Sorry, Mia. Oh, phrasing. Right. Wait, didn't I give her a voice? Right. Better not. I'm so quick to throw her a towel. Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the day end. It's like the same voice as the other lady. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time we'd like to declare the verdict for good. No. Objection. Your Honor, wait. What is with you people? Can't I hand on my verdicts in peace anymore? <laughs> uh, I like that it's self-aware. Whatever it is, can it wait? <laughs> no, we can't. It has to do with the crime. Then it'll be too late. Look at this photograph. The last one submitted. This trial isn't over. So we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. There's no blood on the shoe. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with the latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Is there... Why is it? What's in your tailpipe? Let me save. I can't tell if there's. I don't think that was it. Well, it's probably here. Nope. As your elder means to write, let me give you a piece of advice. When you point at something, at least remember to keep your eyes open. I believe he's trying to say that no one's falling for your blast, Mr. Wright. Open your eyes, Mr. Wright. Think scientifically. I suppose since we come to this bar, we should give it. Oh, yeah, Blair. I want to save. Oh, it didn't punish me. What is in his fucking tailpipe? I'm missing something. He's on a... This looks like it's on the raise thing. What am I missing? Is 
This is suspicious. What the fuck is this? Fuck. The problem is this photograph is here. Oh. What the fuck? Okay. What's this? There's something poke poking out of the car's muffler. Oh, <gasps> muffler! That's not the muffler. That's an exhaust tip. That's different. That's why I didn't put it together. That is that is an exhaust tip, not a muffler. We just a moment, Mister Richard Words. Your Honor, or Your Honor, you just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. Muffler is also also part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. Moving along. I see, and I see. What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? It's not a muffler. <laughs> so what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? Uh, what's her name was mentioning it. What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, that's why she was calling Emma to say, hey, the evidence is in the muffler. Sorry, Miss or sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why it's important to this case. She should have just shut up. She should have not said anything. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth has in the muffler is related to this case. Muffler bitch! Miss Star! We call her testimony for the court. Ah, uh, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my release testimony. Bam! Muffler. Uh, uh. Could it be that the muffler you had mentioned, you heard mentioned, was actually this exhaust pipe? Thank you. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you, Phoenix. If so, that means a piece of cloth is vital evidence. Uh, I keep saying what I need to oh, did I? Yeah, that's true. Well, it seems we'll have to suspend the proceedings. S she said sus. S suspend. I find myself wondering about the piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car of the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Oh, that was close. But we made it, at least for now. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry? Wait, has the idea of it been that every time she gives one of those bunch boxes out, we eat it? Because goddamn. We made it three through two to be continued today. We did start streaming a little early. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Our trials always like this with you. Like you're swimming up from the bottom of the lake about to reach the surface. And no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. <laughs> so what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently, she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon. A tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Oh god, this guy. Oh la, partner. They say... They say you show a red cloth to a bull a little fire, fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was young, at least. Oh, Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come take a look, see how the trials go. Looks like I'm late. They got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That, uh, that hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. 
Don't you got enough all in your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You should be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Taste the mufflers? Don't taste the muffler. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. He wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just beat all. I've seen the red breeze, breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it the, that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the awards ceremony morning that afternoon, Edward's seen it too, I'd reckon. What does that mean? Is he implying something? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, the star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let the bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh. I have a bad feeling about this. So, where are you swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh, wait. <laughs> wow, right back into court. Hey, Dick. He resume. He he's eating, isn't he? What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Oh, shit. Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue. Your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. That poor brow, those gr grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more? Your eyes are... What? Skipped it. It can't be. This can't happen. What? This can't happen. What? What is happening? I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it's time we continue on with this trial. During our research, I had requested that the prosecution conduct... I'm not skipping this, I promise. This... This is unacceptable. Eh, uh, it seems the prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, excuse me, Nuck Nuck. Is that gonna be the goofy guy? Who's here? Who the fuck are you? Who's this clown looking motherfucker? What's with this guy? Why does he have clown music? Woo! This guy's a werewolf. A strange... What the fuck? Ha who? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. What? Who on earth is he? Er, it's you. The fuck are you? He's like, I'm the writer of the series. What the fuck? He's clear rating with the fires of hell yeah how did it raise almost six degrees by him walking in? i'm is everyone nervous oh is that who edgeworth is freaking out about and why did he just take the stand and what voice should we give him he looks kind of jolly oh, oh yes excuse me something like that oh yes sorry i'm late would you a G? Is that supposed to be a G? Yeah, the roads are packed. It's just me. Long time you... Oh, he's talking to Edgeworth, I think. Long time no see, eh, OG? How you been? So much these days? Uh, uh, hello. Hello, uh, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, smizzy, OG. My boy, you have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. What is happening? OG seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Oh, so you're Raito, the attorney. I've heard your things about you, son. 
Uh, thanks. So sorry about a little with with the giving you all the trouble. Eh? Really, you know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. A little worthy. Mr. Ray. You don't know the district chief of police. What? Ch chief of police. He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. My name's Gant. Yeah, I'm in Gant. Nice to meet you, everyone. What is happening? So, uh, uh, what do we owe this honor to do? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worth it here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, hey that's... My sister's not there. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. What is wrong with your face right now? Why are you... What do you think? That it was stuffed into the exhaust pipe. A little with his car, no less. Can make that face. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? What is that? Uh, the holster for the knife? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Why are you here? Nobody called you. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Oh, didn't you hear me? He's gonna get like a threatening face and it's gonna be scary, isn't it? Have a look at this document. Where it says, person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature in the signature is there. Miles Edgeworth. That's not fair. Or, that's not fair. On the day of the crime, uh, I had. You heard in the clouds because you got that award. You're heading in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. Oh snap. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. You'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Oh snap, the shade from this man. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edwards at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense of favor first. Yeah? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yeah, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. <laughs> this is their justification for gamifying it where I do it. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I won't be able to point it at people anymore. <laughs> point it at people! Oh my god! Come on, just hurry up and open it! Alright, you got it. Look at all this fucking evidence, dude. Why is there a switchblade knife all of a sudden? There's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say SL9, too. It has to do with that guy's note thing, doesn't it? What does that mean? Well... I've heard something similar. DL6 of DL6 incident fame. It's strange. Huh? What is? I'm not certain, but I get a feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, sir. Letters that looked a lot like this somehow. Yeah, uh, flip it around. Ow! 
Did he stab himself on accident? Ah, don't scare me like that. I'm the one who... I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? He's terrifying. Yeah, he is terrifying in a calm kind of way. Oh, he makes Von Kramer look like a Boy Scout? No, uh Found at the crime scene wrapped in the defendant's muffler, small tag attached. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief police himself. No time for that. I'm dearly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Holy shit. Uh -huh. Sure, sure thing. Not a problem, not even a little one, really. Look at the smile lines. This knife is special. <laughs> but I can't say how. How here? <gasps> Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any safety during the investigation. A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. The time of the crime, 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this scare case, so I can't talk much about it. Uh, I'm actually pointing that out right now. Here. There was a murder at the police department. A detective? That's our trust information, OG. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Objection. Wait a second. You said 5.15. It's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Murder. 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 Anyway, we get the department. We're all flustered as you might have fought well assumed. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. I'm telling you, one okay. I think we understand the police department situation. Hello, Mr. Wright. Two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross this again in the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Okay, I want to point out that thing. I can't say how here. I'm doing it anyway. Excuse me? Special? Mm hmm How to come by this particular knife anywhere else? Um, might that special thing be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Raito, but I can't say that now. Not that. We've established that the knife is Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? It's great a mystery. And I like a mystery. It's wrapped in something. A muffler. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman, I got one. This knife was found on the scene of the crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Raito. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine the knife while we can, Raito. Raito? Hmm. Evidence that links his knife to Detective Goodman. Detective Goodman. I think perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should pr try presenting the piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So, how are things down at the department? No, no, go back. Got you. Blam! Wait a second. <laughs> At last, an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Oh, oh, honest to goodness, what do you mean from the Aji? This is great. He's having the time of his life. Look at the tag on the knife. It reads SL92. And this is the important way. Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Flip it over, baby. Mm, what is this? Six minus seven S twelve two. Your Honor, it's upside down. I said that from the beginning. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. You turn it around, and what do you get? Oh, dip. Ah, ah, ah. Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. It's little nine. It's the same thing that's written on this knife's tag. 
Order. Order. El Chief. Ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Raito. I win? Uh. What is this guy ga game? What game is this guy playing? This night was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So this knife was stolen? Yes. But on the day of the murder. It, w it was evidence, you say. Was it, in fact, a murder weapon? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happened. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder, and it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edward's car. I just think there isn't a connection there. That was a bad day for the department. We, were in any, we weren't in any shape to do an investigation. Something happened in the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes there, right, my boy. Right, oh my boy. Sharp! Hungry. So, something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy with that Lana case after all. Well, what happened? What happened to the police farmer that day? A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact! Surprising! Isn't it dodgy? I made a loss for words. And the perpetrator, you have a suspect. Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Raito. I suppose I could help. If you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Ah, oh, shit. One thing only. That's not how courts and evidence works. Where the victim was found. How the victim was killed. They said he died at 515. Where the victim was found. So tell me. Where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? Wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? Knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go out, go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. I don't know the link. It's not officially linked to this case here, so I can't talk much about it. Chief, the defense position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. <laughs> you don't say. Well, out with it, Raito. What's your connection? Yes, Mr. Raid. Out with it. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen. From the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. In indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right there. Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim of at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet at, at all. Can we get can we get information unofficially? <laughs> hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What the fuck? What? Really? Would have guessed. 
this just became wild. He's getting freaking... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. He made me instantly nervous when I first met him. The feel of the game has drastically changed since this man came on board, and it's it's definitely weird. I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal... I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the, at the department, okay? If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ha! Huh. Well, of course, information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Yeah, give me the ID number. Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me the name after all. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't get beginning your hopes up. The number is... The same one in our evidence. 584-2189. Well, it's quite long. And I'm not talking about his ID number. And we have to remember these. It drives us me nuts. Eight, two, I can't do it. <laughs> you didn't get the first number right. <laughs> really, Mr. Wright, does that tell you anything? Absolutely. The ID number of the victim at the police department. Blah, 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 blah. This tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It, it does. I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. What does this mean? I fucking don't know. Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something. What does it tell you? It's the same dude. He was moved. Take that! Witness. Witness! I just watched that movie. The movie slaps. So good. What is it, Mr. Wright? Grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. Uh, I just... I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Let's come out with it, with both clones blazing. Like you always do. Oh, he's flirting with me now. The police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, is it yours? Yes, I'm a policeman. No, Your Honor, I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Raito. Personal IDs are top secret. Top secret, you have to give them out. Detective Goodman's ID number is 2542189. Or, wow, I did that wrong. How did I say 254? Wow. 584-2189. And this means... What exactly? Oh my god, you're dense. Huh? Wait, an ID number we heard from the chief earlier. I started with eight, two... Uh, I've forgotten. He didn't get the first number right again! The number the chief of police gave us was 5842189. Wait, wait a second, right. What does... What is this? One murder. They move. Mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? I know who's going to that face. <laughs> Shop is attack, right? Oh, Shop is attack. Wait, wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Exact same time. Yeah, the detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department in the evidence room at the exact same time. Stop! You know I'm onto something. That's impossible. So what you're saying is the same person was killed at the same time in a completely different location. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Order. 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 Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine. But I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now just wait a second, were they? No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. 
Wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, now he's scary. I said, wait. Oh, didn't you hear me? Okay. Now he's getting scary. The other side. The grave error. Mr. Edgeber. They're yours. Oh, shit. What? what? H how dare? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. The Zane Geef. Grandpa looking motherfucker. Scary. Is he gonna rip off his shirt and tie at some point? No. Uh, officer Meekins? It's alright. Where have we heard that name before? His hand was hurt too. Wait, uh huh? See, his hands hurt. He looks like a postal service, not an officer. Excuse me, but Mr. Roger was, uh, in the purposes. Come here, sir, at the first request of the chief, sir. I've got your whiteboard, sir. They intentionally sent him. You don't mean him. According to McKinnon's, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman, murder in the, in the police department and evidence room. Mr. Edward, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. <clears throat> oh, why didn't you officer tell me? Look at that goofy ass looking on my little bugger. Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer is capable of making the connection. It did seem challenged. And in case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, worthy. Objection! But... But, 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 sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I. Oof. You finally got mad that Edwards called your boys dumb this whole time, essentially. No such luck like this time, worthy. What should I say? Unworthy. What? Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm. Uh, Mr. Wright. Huh? Oh, well, it's, uh... Rule number two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule... And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit illicit evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does that mean? I can submit this evidence until the connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Raito over there. Good job, Raito, my boy. Huh? I, I, I was just doing my job. No. 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 I can't do his voice anymore right now. No. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. With all those rumors. You were even in the defense chair just like this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. M Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. If it's the last thing I do. You better get results this time, really. Yeah, my profound apologies, sir. Hi, Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. Really? I'm pretty sure there's been quite a few. I will grant one further day as the prosecution is requested. Will that be suspicion? Sufficient, Mr. Edwards. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your plans for punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. Aha, perfect. Dun, 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 dun. Close enough. Save time and log out time. Look at like I love this these like perfectly green shirts that match the green screen like perfectly because I'm just like a floating head. We got this cool like little drop shadow going on here. Anyways, my friends, I'm itchy. Uh it's ten. Fortunately, I don't have to go into the office tomorrow, but unfortunately, I have to go to the doctor. 
hopefully uh i'll set me up with some more sleep meds i've been without without sleep meds for two weeks and if you guys are in the discord you saw like my horrible sleep schedule that was happening especially last week um or was that this week i don't know because the days are blurred because i'm not sleeping uh but the plan is uh we'll continue playing this i'm hoping we finish it tomorrow hey kira do you have any input uh how close we are to the end want some boopy snooties yes you're gonna make me wake her up hey yo hi good morning I did it, I this noob. Uh, let's see. How rude, Lonnie. Making him fall. Really? Two or three more streams? Crap. So we're not going to finish it. If I hadn't taken off yesterday, we probably would have been fine, huh? Actually, if I, had, if I didn't take off any time last week, <laughs> probably would have been fine. Uh, okay. <gasps> well, if that's the case, um... Well, well, we'll continue playing this. That's for sure. Um, tomorrow, we'll continue playing, see how far we get. And then uh, I'll have to decide what to do from there because Thursday, we're supposed to be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm super excited. There's an event in the Discord. If you guys aren't a part of it already, I am so very excited for that. I hope you guys are all looking forward to it as much as I am, or at least close um and it, that all depends on when the package shows up uh like i said at the beginning of the stream so i don't know when that's gonna happen um join the discord uh turn on some alerts or something um i'll be posting updates as we get them uh, i'll probably post if the package arrives um i'll open it at the very least um uh, i'll try to avoid seeing anything or trying to spoil anything for myself hopefully the the um the CD or something is like at the top and I'm going to serious. I'm just going to come downstairs and I'm going to start installing it. And then uh, I'll post a, um, an announcement in the discord when we're going to go live. I should spend some time tomorrow or Thursday sometime during the day because my capture card's not even plugged in. Oh crap. I'm going to have to see if all that stuff works. Okay. So I'll spend some time during the day on Thursday before I even get it. Uh, just to get the ps5 capture card working um and so that's what's going to go on with that and then we're going to be playing through friday ish uh i would normally be playing through saturday too uh, obviously try to get some sleep and whatnot um but i forgot that we have a uh i have a dance event on saturday night and i, I have to do some cl cleaning really bad um for the house on saturday too so we'll figure that out well, that's me. I'm looking at uh, raid targets, and that's weird that it, I didn't even focus that uh, the tab, and it started playing the sound. That's very interesting. It's doing it again. Why is it doing that? <gasps> Yo! Wait a minute. Okami is playing about science or your theories. Ace Attorney as well. Whoa, this one's animated. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles Two. This one's animated. Yo! Hey guys, do you guys want to... Okay, so Kim is playing a game called This Bed We Made. I don't know what that is. Um, Laurelyn is playing some Elden Ring. Deathless, holy shit. Oh, and she's doing uh, a baseline for like her own Deathless run. Wow, good for her. And Okami is playing Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I kind of want to go to Raid Okami because one, she's lovely. Two, she's got a new uh, VTuber model. And three, she's playing Ace Attorney. That's the newest game in the franchise. Oh. I'm ready for some hotties. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, everyone that's going to be part of the Rebirth game. Come in prepared to get down bad for some uh, some of the characters. Uh, I've been avoiding all spoilers as much as I can, except for that one that made me laugh the other day because that was, um, that's part of the, that's the demo for Rebirth, but that's gonna be in the main game too. It better be in the main game anyways because it's very significant part for the main game. Uh, so we're gonna have to play through it again. But that that fucking part slayed me. 
It's before bedtime for me. So you'll have fun with the raid. Okay, that is totally fine. Um Yeah, let's go raid. Let's go raid Okami. It, it it's fitting, right? Uh raid. Raid Okami. So let's go send some love over. There's some uh messages there. Feel free to grab the sub raid message if you are a sub. Feel free to grab the other one if you're not, or feel free to use whatever other emotes that you have available to you and uh, you want to use. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house if there's a possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescue out that are very much in need. Anyways, I am invasive. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. And thank you so much for putting up with the or being patient with me for taking a bunch of time off because I've just been so freaking tired. Um, hopefully we can get back up to a normal schedule here. Um, I just got to get used to things again. But thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya. Jenny, you hungry? Let's go get some foodies. <laughs>